This is where a catalytic converter is supposed to be. This is not what Stephanie Bresser's truck is supposed to sound like. So if you're driving it, it's like you sound like a drag race car. Valentine's Day, the grandmother was shopping inside a Bonnie Lake Target when outside a stranger was shooting this video. Come on, man. Just ruining some other guy's family. Cell phone video shows three men driving away after cutting out her truck's catalytic converter. These people are making 80 bucks to $200 off a catalytic converter and they're destroying people's lives. Wednesday in Seattle, a more violent scene in Soto. Police say a man confronted a woman taking a power tool to the underside of his car, pepper spraying her, when another man shot at him. The thieves took off in a black van and are caught on traffic cameras trying to get away, shutting down the highway after a chase. It's dangerous, but these people are, they're becoming dangerous just to get a part that is basically melted down. The car that's stealing it. Bresser says she feels lucky no one was hurt in her case and an arrest was made. Her catalytic converter is in police custody, waiting to be reinstalled on her truck. Tonight, she's thankful for the passerby who caught it all on camera. I was so blessed with Travis and his fiance and that he got such a good video. There are steps you can take to theft proof your catalytic converter etching your VIN number into the side is one, an aftermarket guard is another, but I have to say, generally speaking, police will advise to never confront thieves. Instead, get to a safe place and call 911. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.